the region which brought you the Black Death, communism, and all-pervasive kleptocracy now presents AIDS. The process of enlargement to the East may unwittingly have opened the European Union's doors to the two scourges of inordinately brutal organized crime and exceptionally lethal disease. As Newsweek noted, the threat is greater and nearer than any hysterically conjured act of terrorism. The effective measure of quarantining the HIV-positive inhabitants of the blighted region to prevent a calamity of medieval proportions is proscribed by the latest vintage of politically correct liberalism. The West can only help them improve detection and treatment. But this is a tall order in this region, dysfunctional and lacking institutions as it is. East European medicine harbors fantastic pretensions to West European standards of quality and service, but it is encumbered with African financing, German bureaucracy, and Vietnamese infrastructure. Since the implosion of communism in 1989, deteriorating incomes, widespread unemployment, and social disintegration plunged people into abject poverty, making it impossible to maintain a healthy lifestyle. 